Jadid Ogus Falcha Arash Go Gilga and Mahri. Hello and welcome back to Irish in My Heart. And if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Molly, and today I'm going to be bringing you some Irish names, how to pronounce them, and what the hell they mean. Irish names, I have often seen videos of people, usually Americans, um, but I'm sure it's the same for anybody who's not from Ireland, um, when they're presented with an Irish name and they have to pronounce it um, because they don't look as they sound, if that makes sense. Today I'm going to be sharing with you like popular Irish names, just nice Irish names, how to pronounce them of course and what they mean. Now of course I'm going to pronounce them a bit differently to maybe how people would pronounce them in Dublin or in Cork. You know, just different accents so they're going to pronounce it slightly differently. This is a correct way to pronounce these names. So first we're going to start off with Anyamnaha the Chalini. So names for girls. Because I'm a girl, girls rule, and I feel like a child for actually just saying girls rule. So we're going to go in alphabetical order. First name I have here is Anya or Anya. It's more commonly pronounced Anya and I know it just looks like Ain. This name comes from the noun which means radiance, splendor or brilliance. Up next we have Ashling, which comes from the word which means dream or vision. Then we have Avin or uh, Avon. Even? I'm not really sure how it changes in pronunciation, but there are like two two different spellings for it, but they seem to mean the same thing, so that one's a little bit confusing, but most common one I would see is the one spelt with I-N-N -N, and it's pronounced like Avine. I know there's no father on the I, so it shouldn't really be pronounced Ean, but that's just how uh, I have heard it pronounced and how I pronounce it. And it means like pleasant, beauty, it comes from the word Ave, which means beauty in Irish. To be more specific, Avin means beautiful sheen of radiant beauty. Well, if that ain't a compliment. And then we have Ava, which is very commonly anglicized to just A-V-A because it's much easier to guess how that's pronounced rather than reading this one and trying to pronounce it. It captures the same meaning as Avine, like beautiful, pleasant. Then we have Aoife, which is a very common name in Ireland. It's very common. I know a lot of Aoife's and I know it's probably one of the most difficult to guess how to pronounce. I don't think anybody would get it right on their first go because uh, there's like so many vowels in there. They're just missing you. Aoife means beautiful, radiant, joyful. And it likely comes from the word Ave, which I said before means beauty or pleasure. Moving on to B, we have one name, Brona. I love this name, Brona. Um, I only know a few Bronas. It's not the most common Irish name. It might sound familiar to you if you think of the word Brona. Ta Brona or um, I'm sorry or I'm sad. And then Brona is like sad or sorrowful. So it's kind of sad, but it's such a beautiful name, but it's strange that that was like a name to give a girl. Um, however beautiful. Then we have Cara, which can be spelled C-A-R-A or C-A-R-A-G-H. The G-H is silent and that just means friend. So I think that's a cute little name for a girl, Cara. A lot of people anglicize it then by spelling it with a K. Then we have another tough one. Kiva, or some people say Quiva. That's kind of more Connacht. It's not Kaumhi. That's what it looks like. Kaumhi. Kaumhi. And it comes from the word Kiv, which means gentle or precious. Then we have Kira. Kira is a very common name, or I feel like it was anyway. I do know a lot of Kiras, but I don't think many kids now are being called Kira. And it's the feminine form of Kirin, which comes from the word Kier, which means like dark and it implies like dark features, brown eyes, black or dark hair, which is funny because the few Kieras that I know have blonde hair. Another very common name, which is often spelled either way. It can be spelled E-I-M-E-A or, which I suppose looks more complicated, or E-M-E or. The name means swift, which I find really funny. Swift. 
Then we have Aaron. Now this I have never seen actually spelled the Irish way. It's always anglicized to E or I N. I can understand why because it's like parents, you know, they're like, I don't want my kid to be the one in class who the teacher can never pronounce their name and it's embarrassing for them. And this name, of course, means Ireland. So it's a really beautiful name when you think of the meaning. We have one name for G. It's Grania or Grania. I say Grania, but that's because where I'm from, our accent, it's a lot more like our A's are a lot more like a ah, instead of ah. It comes from the Irish word gran, which means grain or corn. <laughs> For L, we have Leisha, which I think is such a pretty name, and it's actually commonly anglicized as Louisa, which I never put together before. You learn something new every day. If you want your child to be radiant, you call her Leisha. You know what I'm saying? You don't anglicize that shit. No, no, no. No Louisas, no L E E S H A. No. You gotta go the full, the whole hog. That's what I was thinking of. Moving on to M, we have Maeve, another really hard one to pronounce. It's a very Irish name. Well, these all are Irish, but when I hear Maeve, I'm like, oh, it's really Irish. It's commonly spelt like M-A-E-V-E, -E -E, cause of course that's easier to pronounce from the spelling. This name means intoxicating. <laughs> all of these names are obviously, they really come from like ancient Ireland. A lot of them are Irish mythology or just from old Irish words like quiva coming from quive which means like gentle or precious. Here's one that I really love that I only heard of like last year. Um, a girl at my work is called this and I really love this name. Murrin. It can be pronounced like Muirin but I don't like that that much. Murrin sounds nicer. And this name means sea white or sea fair and it comes from like uh, this old myth about a mermaid if you want to look up more about it and it's definitely it's not common at all like I you know the first time I heard of it was last year so that's what I like more about it because a lot of the Irish names like Kira or Aoife they're very common they have lovely meanings and they're lovely names but they're very common you know like overused so I like the unique exotic ones like Murrin. Neve, another very common name meaning like radiance, luster or brightness. Orla which means the golden princess or golden sovereign. Reina, not common at all but I really like this name. It comes from Reina which means like queenly. Shout out to my best friend Roisin. I say Roisin. I've noticed on in Dublin and they laughed at me for the way I pronounce it but they would say Roisin. So you can pronounce it like either, whatever one sounds nicer to you. It has a lovely meaning, it means little rose. So when you see Ean, I fa the N afterward, it means like little. Rosh, rose, Ean, little. Then one that probably a lot of people know how to pronounce by now because of famous Irish actress, Saoirse Ronan. Sersha, some people would say. It means freedom. Sinead. It's apparently the Irish form of Jane or Jeanette. And it means God is gracious. Siobhan. I hate this name. And guess what? It's my middle name. I'm really sorry if you're called Siobhan or if you know somebody you like called Siobhan. But I feel like I can say I don't like it because it's my middle name. So like, it's kind of like... I can say I don't like it, okay? I don't know why, I just don't like it. I don't think it suits my name at all, Molly Siobhan. I'm sorry parents, but they know that I don't like it and they're okay with it. It's another form of the name Joan and it means God has been gracious or God's grace. And it can also mean full of charm. I don't know if that's true, maybe, maybe it is fitting. Maybe I am a little Siobhan, you know, got that charm. We're nearly done with girls. We've got Shannon, which is always anglicized. I've never seen the Irish version, but it's Seanan. And it means wise river. Sean meaning wise and then un coming from Owen, which means river. And there's a lot of variations of this, but the most common I've seen is Shannon. I really like that name. And last but not least, we have one that's not Sorcha. It's Sorca. So not not hugely difficult, it's just get rid of your idea of CH being CH and change it to K, 
and you got it right. The Irish form of the word Sarah or Sally and it means brightness or radiant. You'll notice a lot of the names mean that just all in different forms so you know pick your favorite one. Name your daughter, name yourself, change your name. I don't know, do what you want. So that is all for the girls' names. I hope you enjoyed those. Uh, comment down below what one is your favorite or maybe you have one or two, three, four, whatever. And give this video a like if you're enjoying it so far. It would really help me out to know that you are enjoying my content. And subscribe if you'd like to see more Irish content. Turn on the notifications, that way you will always know when I upload a video. Now I'm moving on to boys' names. Up first we have Aiden. I always say it anglicized, but the Irish spelling is A-O-D-H-A-N. It means little fiery one, which is really funny because I have a friend called Aiden and just, it actually suits him, I think, to be honest. Then we have Brian, which should be pronounced Brian, actually, to be more in line with the Irish pronunciation, but Brian, that's the way people pronounce it. It's so widespread. Some people even spell it with a Y. This name means high, noble, and strong. And it comes from the Irish word Bri, B-R-I-G-H. Then we have Brandon and Brennan, which I wanted to put together because apparently they actually come from the Irish name Brennan. If you know a Brandon or a Brandon, they a prince. Cian? which means ancient or enduring. I think enduring is more charming. Um, if you're gonna tell a key and you know the meaning of their name, like, oh, guess what, you're ancient. That's not so flattering. Kieran, which I said before, there is a female version, Kira. Kieran means little dark one. We have Killian, like Killian Murphy. This name comes from the word Killia, which means like associated with the church. Connor, which translates as lover of hounds. If you love dogs, change your name to Connor. Fergal, which is anglicized of F-E-A-R-G-H-A-L, and it means brave, courageous, and valorous. I had no idea that Fergal was an Irish name, so that's really interesting to me. Then we have Finn, which can be pronounced Fionn, Fionn. It means blonde-haired, uh, light-haired. Of course, uh, that's a big name in Irish mythology, Fionn McCool. And we have Liam, which means strong-willed, warrior and protector, which comes from Ulliam, which is like the Irish of William. Niall, champion, passionate, or vehement. What a badass meaning, right? Like, Niles, I know, they gotta step up to their meaning, honor that shit. And we have Orin. And this one's really funny. It means little pale green one comes from the Irish word aura. Oshin, which again, it's like some people say Oshin. I don't understand that. I really don't like it like that, Oshin. Anyway, it means little deer. And of course it's very popular in Irish folklore. Oshin a deer nanok, Oshin in the land of the young. Oscar, another one I didn't know was Irish, um, comes from os and cara, which is obviously an old word for deer, os, cause deer is also fia. And then Cara, meaning friend. So it's like deer lover or friend of the deer. Podrick or Patrick, coming from the Latin word meaning patricius, nobly born. Last few ones, so we have Rian, which is commonly uh, anglicized as Ryan, which means little king or kingly. Ruri, which is like red haired king, coming from Rua, which means red haired, and then Ri, which means king. And then Sean, which is the Irish name of John and it means God is gracious. It does mean old in Irish but I would pronounce it like Shan and then the name is pronounced like Sean with the father. So for some reason I forgot to record this one but I really want to put it in because it's so difficult to pronounce from looking at it. It's Taig and it means poet or bard in Irish. So that is all I have for the names in Irish. I really hope you enjoyed them. Hopefully you learned some new ones or you figure out how to pronounce them. You had been pronouncing them wrong before or you just had a fun time watching this video. I would like to give a shout out to my patrons to say thank you very much for all of your support. If you'd like to become a patron, the link will be in the bio. I have fortnightly 
uh, group chats on Zoom just to practice a little bit of Irish. It's nothing too advanced. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what your favourite Irish names are and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Gormagets August Landlat. Like uh, dark hair, like brown hair. Uh, you gotta go the full, the whole hog. That's what I was thinking of. I was gonna say the full turkey. Because I was thinking of cold turkey. But I stopped myself. A famous Irish actress. Actress? Ronan. I couldn't remember her second name. I was gonna say something else. O'Connor. That's Sinead O'Connor. Anyway, this mean this mean names. This mean names. And it can also be translated as small blonde sh Anytime I need to say soldier, I say shoulder. Then we have Orin, which is spelt in yeah two different ways uh, two different ways O D H or A N or coming from the word the lat coming from the Latin word Patricius coming from the Lat What you doing home? If you would like to join in, then support me on Patreon. Uh, support me on Patreon.